and hence uh, depending on uh, these uh, structures uh, uh, these polymorphic form uh, the triglyceride mixture and the other forms there are three forms present basically in the three forms of fats are present in cocoa butter that is pos sos and pop uh, you can uh, uh, learn about this uh, so in this it is mainly having sos type when it is in the beta 3 form and uh, uh, fully hydrogenated oils they will have saturated high ex high saturated point and triglycerides mixture that is b2 form and milk fat is beeped up b prime 2 that's why milk uh, fat you can see little liquid uh, texture because it is a complex triglyceride mixture and lauric acid like palm kennel and coconut also the similar uh, you can go through and partially hydrogenated oils uh, even they are also having beta prime structure complex uh, triglyceride mixture and even interesterified fat uh, inter oils they also have complete crystal structure whereas um, palm oil is moderately triglyceride mixture and uh, diacyl glycerols are importantly present in this lard uh, the oil that is usually obtained from uh, animals uh, it is beta prime 3 uh, so this is more stable and there is a moderately uh, triglyceride mixture and mainly SSO type and the major role of this uh, polymorphism is preparing of margarine and bakery shortenings so normal beta prime uh, see if you see uh, the kind of uh, shortening we want to make the kind of liquid texture that we want to give to the butter cocoa or the margarine and any kind of spreads is depending on the fat we uh, use so if we want the texture uh, to be more liquefied form uh, then we use uh, beta prime forms uh, whereas if we want it to be uh, in a uh, little uh, solidify form means uh, large amount of crystals then we use beta prime uh, let us go uh, go more deep into this uh, uh, and uh, this, uh, these are mainly uh, these polymorphisms are maintained by crystal formations, and these uh, uh, form different uh, types of crystals. Like uh, by the process of nucleation, zoo, uh, growth, and uh, super cooling methods, and then the crystals are ripened. Uh, so crystal nucleus is the smallest crystal that can exist in a triglyceride mixture as you know the unit cell of a uh, uh, solid whatever the solid state when we learn in uh, that unit cells have a different crystal structure in the same way these crystals also have a different crystal structure and that small crystal can exist in a triglyceride mixture uh, of certain concentration and temperature uh, then in that you have aggregates or molecules smaller than a nucleus are called embryos and will re-dissolve if formed a stable crystal will form only when the energy gained due to heat of crystallization exists that required to overcome the surface energy required to increase the surface so this nucleation is mixing of two nuclei, nucleus and formation of a liquid. So this can be homogeneous nucleation that takes place spontaneously in the bulk of the liquid but does not occur in fats in practice. Whereas heterogeneous nucleation, it takes place and is initiated by solid particles such as dust, container, wall or seed crystals. This is why emulsions are difficult to crystallize. Each droplet is isolated uh, from the other, so the seeds cannot propagate. Whereas em in emulsions, there are two uh, different things that will be mixed. So that is why in a heterogeneous mixture, you can uh, easily uh, you can uh, differentiate between any other particle ad added to it. Second, a nucleation occurs when small pieces break from existing crystals and act as nuclear for the first further crystallization. So, uh, next, 
the least stable is the alpha alpha form as we already told has the lowest surface energy as well as the lowest heat of crystallization you can easily crystallize it uh, the small differences in the surface energy produce large differences in the nucleation rate so its nucleation rates are in the order of alpha uh, has the greatest and then beta prime and beta nucleation rate is greater for the less stable polymorph and is exponentially dependent on temperature once a crystal is formed it starts to grow and the growth is proportional to the degree of supercooling lower temperature and inversely proportional to the viscosity so that means less the viscosity more liquidified it is so greater will be the uh, growth of the crystal formation like the nucleation rate the growth rate depends on the polymorph crystal it is depending on the type of polymorph it forms more stable the polymorph less soluble it is so it will not be able to soluble with other things so therefore higher the growth rate is for beta has the highest growth rate for the crystals and then beta prime followed by alpha but rapid cooling of a fat always leads to initial formation of unstable alpha or beta prime crystals because nucleation is exponentially related to temperature that means as the temperature re lit uh, increases little but the nucleation also increases very high so solid fat occupies about 90% of the volume of the liquid fat the amount of contraction depends on the solubility fact super, super cooling factor Uh, of the fat uh, uh, that is specific uh, fat concentration.